Hello everyone, VG Sav here, and today I have some exciting news for my YouTube channel. Um, I'm very excited about it. I think you guys should be excited about it too, and I will definitely make sure to explain everything to you and assure you that things are not going to change for the worse. Uh, but before we get started, this is me playing Search and Destroy uh, COD Esports Rules uh, in the Clan vs. Clan playlist with The Real Dookie. Uh, CMCB Carter and Lupe the Reaper, new member uh, to uh, Veritas Gaming, Lupe the Reaper. Uh, I go 12 and, 12 and 4, 12 and 6, somewhere around there, uh, with three ca with three plants, three bomb plants. So uh, I do pretty good. We also have a pretty good comeback at the end. We were down 5-3, and we came back and won at 6-5. So it's definitely an exciting ending. So make sure you're watching the video as you're listening to me ramble on. Uh, so anyway, <clears throat> it all started ye uh, yesterday. Yes, yesterday. Uh, I was on Twitter, uh, I was looking through my Twitter feed, and I noticed uh, my friend Bambini posts a uh, retweet from uh, YT Gamers, uh, more along the lines of um, become partnered with YT Gamers, uh, no, no risk, no obligation, something along those lines, um, no matter your size, whatever. It's like, okay. That sounds almost a little too good to be true, especially for somebody, not the personal Bambini, but you just started your channel last week. <laughs> I've been at mine for about six months now, so I was kind of a little curious as to you know why Bambini is uh, trying to get involved in something like this already when he just started his channel. So I was like, oh, curious, so let me look at it. So I start clicking around, I start reading some things, I start, you know, I go to the uh, YT Gamers uh, website there, and uh, I see... You know, no obligation, 70-30 revenue split, uh, no matter your size, all you need is, you know, effort and, you know, no, and the one, one main thing was no uh, copyright strikes in your channel. So I'm like, okay, this almost sounds too good to be true. So if I click on the uh, apply link and I'm taken to the Freedom Network link uh, website. Which I, I was a little curious. I'm like, well, I thought I was signing up for YT Gamers, and and uh, why am I, you know, why is this link taking me to the uh, Freedom Network? So I was a little skeptical. I was because I I'd just seen a YouTube video a couple days ago from a pretty you know decent sized uh, YouTuber Beardnor, um, and he was talking about the Freedom Network and how he just joined the Freedom Network. And I'm like, wow, th you know, this is something that. You know, a really big YouTuber does. Uh, not really big. I mean, he's he's pretty big. He's got a couple thousand, a couple uh, ten to thousands of uh, subscribers. How how am I going to apply for this and, and and actually you know get accepted? You know, but it 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 pretty much assured you just about everywhere that you could read that no matter your size, you should apply. You know, we take people, we take channels of all sizes. Um, all you need is effort, and you know, blah 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 blah. blah. You know, the same rhetoric and same. Um, you know, same speech, you know, no matter your size, whatever. So I'm like, okay, I'm intrigued. So uh, what the heck? Let's go ahead and give it a shot. So I filled out the application. It linked them up to it linked them up to my uh, YouTube channel. I guess they had it, it rated my YouTube channel as a 60%, which I guess out of 100% is, you know, um, ability to grow. Uh, I, one of the downfalls actually is my video, my uh, my actual channel is actually seven years old, <laughs> which I never, never would have thought of that. But I've, I've had the YouTube channel for a very, very, very long time. It's just I didn't really start making Call of Duty videos, you know. Especially I've made Call of Duty videos for it since back since Modern Warfare Three, but I didn't actually really start making commentaries and stuff like that uh, till about six months ago. So that was actually one of the bad things against it. But I had seventy, you know. I I kind of I've been gaining. Anywhere from two to three, sometimes maybe as many as five to six subscribers, you know, like every two weeks or so. Um, I, you know, I got it all the way up from, I think I was at like 12 subscribers back in uh, November and I'm up to 70. So, you know, at least I'm, I'm showing some potential. And uh, so I got my reply last night. It says I was accepted to the Freedom Network. Now, I'm confused. <laughs> um Again, like I said, it, when I applied for it, when I clicked on the apply button, I was, you know, I was, thought I was signing up for YT Gamers. 
So I, I actually sent a message to one of the admins from the YT Gamers, and he basically said, and he was very quick with his response, and it was, I was very uh, happy to ha- get such a quick response because I was very, very confused. You know, I thought, I, and I said to him, I said, I thought I was signing up for YT Gamers. It took me to the Freedom Network because this is a mistake that I click on something that I wasn't supposed to click on, you know, whatever. And um, he said, no, 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 that's our parent company. I'm like, your parent company? Okay. I didn't ask him any further questions about it, but, you know, when I got my... <clears throat> Uh, email from the Freedom Network, it said I was accepted into uh, YT Gaming Network. So that kind of like reinforced it for me. Like, okay, I'm part of the YT Gaming Network, which is part of the Freedom Network. So the revenue sharing and all the the perks and, you know, of, you know, handling the copyright information and stuff like that, handling all the legal stuff as far as posting um, Call of Duty and other video game videos is concerned is handled by the Freedom Network for the yt gamers and then the yt gamer you know the yt gamers is basically you know i you know the sub company i guess if you will it's it's more or less a sub channel of freedom network it's another like i don't even know how to explain it like think of you know for your for the members of veritas gaming think of it as veritas gaming is the is the chat is the is the big name everybody's part of veritas gaming but not everybody's you know then you're part of your squad you know, your squad is part of Veritas Gaming, but you're part of the, like, I'm part of the Justice Squad. Well, I was. I'm not anymore because I'm an admin or whatever now. So, I'm, you know, Charlie's big thing was, you know, I wasn't allowed to be in the squad. But what I was in the squad, I was in the Justice Squad. So, even though I'm in the Justice Squad, I'm part of Veritas Gaming. I don't know if that really makes, I guess that's the best way to explain it. I don't know if it makes 100% sense. So, but it's all pretty much run by the Freedom Network. YT Gaming is more or less like the support. Um, I go to YT Gaming. I can promote my channels. Um, I can talk about other people's channels. I talk about my channel. I can talk about video games in general. Uh, I can post my videos there. They have like, you know, YouTuber of the week, YouTuber of the month, stuff like that. They promote for you. They help promote within. So you, so it's kind of like, like I, I know everybody's familiar with Amateur Gamer. Amateur Gamer is part of uh, Veritas Gaming. He's with the Underground Gamers. It's kind of like that. I don't know if if Amateur Gamer gets the revenue sharing that I'm about to partake in uh, with the Freedom Network and YouTube Gamers, or YT Gamers. Let me make sure that's 100% clear. It's not YouTube Gamers. It's YT Gamers. So if you want to check them out, I put a link in the description below, ytgamers.com. Uh, I'll put everything that I have into the description below. So if you want to check it out and not just take my word for it, you can go check it out. Um, so what does that mean for my channel? <laughs> um, what does it mean for my channel? It means that you are not going to see probably any montages anymore. Um, I know I haven't done any for a while. I was kind of starting to work on one. However, it is a big pain in the butt for me to do anyway. Nowadays, now that I have the uh, the Hot Pog PVR, it is very difficult for me to just take that three four hour game session that I recorded and go find little moments that I, you know that you need for montages you know little three you know three pieces and, and snipes and stuff like that it's very very hard to go through all that video now whereas before you know black when you, when i played black ops you would just go in and you go into theater mode and you select highlight reel and bang it would take all your good moments and throw it on a youtube video and upload it for you right then and there it's not quite that easy anymore it's very very difficult now so I really wasn't really intending on doing, I, may, I was thinking about maybe doing one, but I really wasn't intending on doing any more montages anyway. Now if I do a montage, I can't, you know, it has to be with acceptable music. Actually, uh, Freedom Network has a list of, has a bunch of links of music I can use. Um, none of which is going to be, you know, my typical music. Um, so you probably aren't going to see me do any montages anymore only because I can't monetize that. You know, it's, there's too, too much legal uh, legal problems with using uh, the big, you know, big companies, uh, bands, and, and music, and so forth. So you probably won't see that anymore. But what you hopefully will see is, and, and oh, I'm sorry, I, I forgot about my um, the good band, The Ugly. I probably will have to change that a little bit. Uh, maybe either just not use music or use the acceptable music. Um, because, you know, I can't monetize it i can't put out too many videos of stuff that i can't monetize because that's not why i'm part i mean technically i can do whatever i want i've read a lot of about the freedom network and they more or less just tell you you do whatever you want and we're here to help um (laughs) you know 
So they're not going to necessarily complain if I'm doing a bunch of montages and stuff like that. But I'm, I'm not going to be making any money for them. I'm not going to be making any money for me if I do it. Um, so, you know, so the good, bad, the ugly will probably either not have music or I will take the music or I'll just have to use, you know, different music. Um, but other than that, other than those changes, I think it's going to bring a lot of positive things to my channel. I think it's going to uh, help me grow uh, just by being able to post stuff on YT Gamers and having that, you know, that form for me to go to and have people critique my video. Not that people in Veritas Gaming haven't already been helpful as it is, but it gives me another audience to show my videos to and maybe gain more subscribers and so forth and so on. And I can help them out and they can help me out in return. So it kind of gives me, I mean, I love Veritas Gaming, but you guys, you know, there's a whole lot, a whole lot of YouTubers here. I mean, we pretty much help each other out already, but there's very few of us, you know what I mean? Um, so I'm trying to. I'm not. Try, I'm not leaving various gaming. Don't don't get me wrong. That's not. That's not it. It's not another gaming community that I'm joining. It's it's kind of. It's a YouTube community that I'm joining. That's going to help me. You know, <clears throat> it's going to help me, hopefully, build my channel, and by uh, you know networking with other people. Um, so I'm pretty excited about that. I think it's going to help me help me grow my channel. And I think it's going to. And when, it, when my channel starts growing, it starts bringing in people that may not like my channel, which is not necessarily a bad thing. It helps, it helps get negative feedback, which sometimes people need. You know, I'm not trying to say I'm not perfect. You know what I mean? Maybe the 70 people that subscribe to my channel like my videos, but there might be you know 70 more people out there that think my videos are stupid, and they can comment on my videos and tell me why they think they're stupid, or you know what needs to change. So. Um, I'm pretty excited about it. I, I kind of I'm looking forward to it. Uh, I think it's going to really help my video, my uh, my channel grow. And you're going to see, I think, a lot better comment, a uh, lot better content out of me, uh, and probably more frequent content. I know I've kind of been slacking lately, um, and sometimes you know people. I know what you're thinking. More content ne isn't necessarily good. You know, ne more content could be watered down and could be bad. Um, so that's not obviously going to be. You know, that's not me. That's not something that I'm going to do. And I'm not going to change. Uh, I'm not going to change my personality. I told I told him in the application that I've never really considered, you know, monetizing my YouTube channel before. It's never really come to, you know, it's never really been um, something that I've always necessarily been interested in. I've always done my YouTube channel for my enjoyment, for, as a hobby for me, something that I like doing. I'm not going to change it because, you know, somebody's now paying me to do it you know what i mean um and they're not really paying me don't get me wrong I, the, the ads are paying them which is in turn paying me um and that's the other th good thing about the freedom network which i didn't mention is that there's no you know they don't pressure you to make videos they don't they don't screen your videos you don't have to make certain videos for them you know you just make what you make and you do what you do and they will help you monetize it and so it's pretty i'm pretty i'm i can't say it enough i'm i'm very very excited so um there's gonna be a lot of good things coming to my channel uh hopefully in the very very near future and in, in, in the form of more more of everything more is more and it's all going to be good it's going to be me and it's going to be good i assure you that i promise you that <laughs> i just may not be able to use my music that's all you know and i'm sure most of you don't like my music anyway <laughs> so anyway i'm just gonna let this uh video finish itself out like i said I, I there's a very good comeback here at the end so make sure uh you stick around and, and see it through to the end you also see my new outro which is actually an intro but i'm going to use it as an outro for now uh for the yt gamers uh so make sure you check that out and if you like my video make sure to like subscribe and leave a comment and as always thank you for watching Bomb defused. Excellent job, ghosts. Get ready for the next round. Overtime. Search and destroy. Destroy the objective. We got the bomb.
Time's almost up. Yes.